Hey everybody, welcome back around to the blog and drill. I am your host Doug here with your video blog for April 17, 2015. Back to back days of doing blogs as we're getting you ready for the NBA playoffs. We're going to open up the fan mail bag today as we have a couple questions from some fans out there. We're also going to talk about Johnny Manziel as he has put out an apology just a week after leaving a rehab facility. We'll also head to Bristol for a NASCAR preview and your New York sports update. But first, I want to get to my Western Conference preview. I'm going to give you my preview. Then I will answer a few fan mail questions that were sent on to Facebook today from a couple of the loyal blog viewers. So we'll get to those in a minute. But first off, I just want to go through the series. The first series we're going to look at is, is the 8 seed Pelicans versus the number 1 seed, the Warriors. That series will tip tomorrow at 3.30. I think the Warriors just have too many guards, too many good players. The Pelicans have good size to match up, so I think they'll steal one at home. But I will take the Warriors to win this series in five. Next series, the number four seed Blazers go on the road to take on the number five seed, the Grizzlies. This series will start 8 p.m. on Sunday night. Even without Wes Matthews, I like what Portland has. I like Damian Lillard. I think LaMarcus Aldridge playing through the injury has been big. I think there's too much offense on the Blazers' side and not enough offense on the Grizzlies' side. But I think the Grizzlies will win a few games with that defense and with Zach Randolph and Marc Gasol. But I will take the Blazers to win the series in six. This next series is very interesting, and it ties into our fan mail question as well. Um, so this series is going to tip on 10.30 Sunday night. Number 6 seed, the Spurs, taking on the number 3 seed, the Clippers. The Spurs have been heating up a lot lately, but I like the Clippers in the series. I think Chris Paul, Blake Griffin, and DeAndre Jordan are going to get it done. I will take the Clippers to win this series, but it's going to go 7, and the Spurs could win it. Okay, So that's going to be a contingency on my fan mail question. So in the next matchup and in the final matchup we have the number seven seed Mavericks versus the number two seed Rockets with James Harden. This series tips 9.30 Saturday night. I like James Harden. I like some of those pieces around him with Trevor Ariza, Jeremy Lin, Dwight Howard. I'm going to take the Rockets to win this series in six. So I have all top seeds advancing, but I think the Spurs could steal that Clipper series. And that brings us to our first question from Kevin in Syracuse. Will James Harden or Chris Paul are, who is more likely to lead their team to the Western Conference Finals? And if I had to really think about this deep, I would say that per, the person with the better chance to is James Harden just because it's a tougher road for the Clippers. But I think Chris Paul, if they can get by the Spurs, will get by the Rockets and get into the Western Conference Finals. So that's what it's going to hinge on. It's going to hinge on if the Clippers get by the Spurs, I think the Clippers will go to the Western Conference Finals. But if they can't get by the Spurs, then I think James Harden and the Rockets will probably fall to the Spurs. So I would say Chris Paul at this point has the better shot to get to the Conference Finals. Two questions from my man Mike here in Virginia. The first question is, can anyone upset the Warriors? And I think a team out there can. I think the San Antonio Spurs can. And I also like the Portland Trailblazers to give them a real run. I like the size of Portland matching up with the size of the Warriors, which the Warriors have decent size, but they're in more of a guard-oriented team. I think the Spurs defensively can shut down the Warriors' guard somewhat and make it difficult for Curry and Thompson to score a lot. And that brings us to his final question. Can the Spurs make another run? And yes, I think the Spurs can make one more run with this team. Tony Parker, Manu Ginobili, Tim Duncan, Kawhi Leonard's coming into his own. Tiago Splitter has played a lot better for this team, and they have a good bench with Marco Bellinelli leading the way on that bench along with Danny Green, who has shown that he can play well in the playoffs. So thanks for tuning in to the blog. I mean, thanks for uh, sending out those fan questions. We'll keep you updated on all things NBA playoffs as we move through, especially Monday when we get back to it here, as we will talk about the weekend that was in the NBA playoffs. All right, let's talk about Johnny Manziel. Johnny Manziel is out of rehab. He was released a week ago from a facility in Reading, Pennsylvania, and he is out, and he has sent out an apology to the fans. He apologized for his actions and said he's going to try to be a better player and a better teammate moving forward and try to be a better man. I think this is interesting, but what I'm going to have to say is he will join the team next week, and none of anything that's happened so far with Manziel matters except what is going to happen now. It all matters if he does what he said he's going to do, make those steps, move forward, and become a better player, a better guy overall. And I think Johnny Manziel 
on this team right now has a legitimate shot to be a starter. They brought in Josh McCown on a three-year $6.25 million deal, not a high-paid player there. So I think Johnny Manziel has a legitimate shot to be the starter on this football team if he can come in, prepare like a professional, and play like a professional. But like I said before, it doesn't matter what happened before. It matters what happens moving forward with the progress of Johnny Manziel as he tries to mature into a better football player and a better man. All right, let's talk NASCAR. NASCAR is headed to Bristol. We are through seven races already in the NASCAR season, and we have some exciting stuff coming up in NASCAR. This week we head to Bristol Motor Speedway, and it's going to be an interesting race. We have five different winners so far. Kevin Harvick and Jimmy Johnson have both won two races, and then the other winners um, are... Joey Logano, Brad Keselowski, and Denny Hamlin. Just going down through the point standings, Martin Truex Jr. still showing very strong. He's the first driver without a win. He is currently in sixth place in points. Now we have Casey Kane, Dale Earnhardt Jr., Eric Almarola, David Reagan filling in for Kyle Busch is in 10th. Jamie McMurray 11th, Matt Kenseth 12th, Jeff Gordon sitting in 13th as he's run off four straight top 10 finishes. Then we have Edwards, Mears, and Menard wrapping up the top 16 with Danica, Patrick, Clint Boyer, Greg Biffle, and Ryan Newman all in striking distance in your top 20. Qualifying today will be at 4.30, and Casey Kane was the fastest car in practice. So we will be keeping an eye on that, and we'll give you more updates on Monday from the NASCAR realm. All right, Syracuse Hoops, time for your New York sports update. Syracuse Hoops will be on display tonight at the Jordan Brand Classic in Brooklyn at the Barclays Center tonight. Malachi Richardson, their top recruit, he will be in the in the Jordan Brand game. And then three, then there are three other guys, Leiden, Diagne, and Howard will all be in the regional game. The Orange has the highest ranked recruiting class for Syracuse since 2007. They're currently currently ranked sixth. And time for a look at your New York sports schedule for tonight. The NHL playoffs are underway, and the New York Islanders travel on the road to take on the Capitals in Game 1 tonight. That'll start at 7 o'clock. And in Major League Baseball, Marlins will get ready to face the Mets at City Field. That game will start at 7-10. David Phelps goes for the Marlins 0-0 with a 36 ERA against Bartolo Colon, who is 2-0 with a 2.77. Yankees taking on the Rays tonight down at the Trop at 7-10. It'll be Adam Warren 0-1 with a 1-6-9 versus Carnes with a 1-1 and a 4.97 ERA. Yankees hoping to get Brett Gardner back in the lineup tonight. He's missed the last two games with a bone bruise on his right wrist. Don't forget, you can always check me out on SportsMindedNews.com. I'm also going to start writing for James Williams on there, so you'll be able to see more of my content on SportsMindedNews.com. Also, follow me on Twitter at YankeeBaller415. We'll be back on Monday to talk some more sports as well. Should be a lot of fun. Thank you for tuning in to the Blog and Grill. I'll see you back here on Monday. Have a great weekend.